it's Sam. So I am so excited because today I thought it would be really fun to do a basically a very similar video to my you won't believe what I found at TJ Maxx, but a you won't believe what I found at Ikea. Initially, I found someone on Instagram who had the cutest chairs for her dining room table. And she had said that she'd gotten them at Ikea for under a hundred bucks. And I was like, oh my goodness. First I thrifted, I couldn't find anything at the thrift store other than CDs. So then I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and check out Ikea and see what I can find. I had done a little research online on ikea.com to just kind of see like what I could actually find and see if there was like stuff that was kind of the vibe or the style that I was going for. They have a lot of like boho decor that they are kind of like adding to what they usually carry. So I was really excited. So today I went to Ikea and I am so excited because I got the cutest stuff ever. I really wanted some chairs. Like right, check out this chair. 79 buckaroon. How many are we getting? Seven? We're gonna get two. So they'll be right next to each other. Oh look, there's only three left. Oh gosh. Okay. Look at this. So, just imagine. Okay, imagine. Get a little pillow this year. These little covers are so cute. Okay. Ready? Look. I'm pretty excited about That's those. Winning. I'm super excited. We need to test out and make sure all of them. Like find the sturdiest one. Well, make sure they don't have any it's any broken bits. bits. See, here's my thing with it's these over here. Is we were considering these. But here's the thing I don't like. See that? They break and then they fray. And then when you rest your arm on it, it pokes you. Oh, oh it's horrible. Oh, oh, the oh. agony. Oh, you see all that poke? <laughs> nope. No, but look, these are the ones that I saw on the person's Instagram. And she had it as a dining table set. You're not they're... relaxing in them, you're eating Right, them. that you can relax. So them. this could be a dining room eventually. I think they're really cute dining though. Dining room chair. But for like actually sitting and chatting, because we have like eight million people come to our house all the time. Oh, all the time. We always throw, we throw parties at least three times a week. <laughs> um, I think those are gonna look better. Like, I'm so excited for sit in it again babe okay. look at that one if we, even if we had three and like a little fire pit there uh, not not in the house but <laughs> come on over to our fire pit in the living room this is so cute i feel so boho right now do you love it yeah like a leopard boho leopard boho okay he's inspecting it to see inspect. which it, what's who's the weakest link because i don't want him to be broken i mean <laughs> It's Especially for you to sit on it. Oh, geez, oh. Look. crack. Oh. Right there. They all <gasps> crack. Well, those are all sturdy. These all feel good. Okay. You gotta inspect it. Yeah. I mean, realistically, how often are we gonna sit in these? Not often. But I don't buy it's more for probably. look, but it's still important that it doesn't break. Right? Like, can you imagine if someone came over and they sat in it and broke your chair? And they're just like, hey, <laughs> got a stick in their bum. Load it up, babe. Oh, you're gonna do it that way. This things will go through the bottom if I don't. We are set. We are set. I scored majorly. The stuff I found was not only really affordable, but exactly the style that I was going for. Very kind of boho and just kind of like earthy and they had the cutest little bits and bobs of home decor as well so i'm going to go ahead and show you the chairs that are already set up with the pillows that i got the pillows were an actual like pillow case and then i just got the insert of the actual pillow separately so i believe the pillows were like 6.99 for the actual pillow and then the actual like case was a little expensive um it was 34.99 for the actual pillow case but it's beautiful, it's like looks really, really expensive. They look adorable on the chairs and the chairs not only are really cute, but they, they're actually comfortable to sit in as well. They have like a good structured where you feel comfortable, but you're not like leaning too far back, but you're also not super, super upright. I'll go ahead and show you the chairs and the pillows now, and then we'll get on to the rest of the stuff that I found at Ikea. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have the cutest stuff. You guys have to go and check it out. I will also link everything down, um, down below for you guys in the description box. Let's go ahead and look at the chairs now. Okay, so here are the chairs. These were $79. Let me go ahead and take off the pillow. 
Um, so that's what they look like without any pillows or anything like that. They look like they're gonna be really uncomfortable, but they're surprisingly comfortable and they're very supportive on the bum. So I was thinking I was gonna have to get like a cushion for the like for the base of it, but you don't actually need to at all. When you sit down without a cushion on your butt, it's really comfortable. I would recommend getting a cushion for the back of it though, because, um, you know, it's a little harder on the back for, you know, your bones on your back. It just doesn't feel quite as comfortable. So that is what it looks like from the side. You can see it has these, these little pieces over here, which look really cute. It's just like, looks, it's, it looks so handmade and so just like earthy and boho. And then these pillows, I just love. Every single pillowcase was a different design. So it just looked like they cut up a piece of rug and you were just getting different pieces of the rug with each pillowcase. And you basically just zip it right here. I haven't even taken the tax off yet. Um, and then put the actual pillowcase or the pillow insert, which was six, I think it was 6.99 inside. So the, you know, the pillowcase itself was a little bit more expensive and then you have to buy the pillow, which the pillow is cheap, but it's really this what you're paying for. But like, look how pretty this design is. It's so beautiful. And like I said, every single one is a different color, a different part of the design, a different tone, different piece of the flower. Like it's really, really cool. So that's what that one looks like. And then here is the other pillowcase. So you can see this one is slightly lighter. It has a little bit more um, kind of golden, kind of the color of the chair, which I like. It's a little bit more just, um, I don't know, not quite as vibrant, I suppose, a little bit more dustier, dustier, duskier. And then it has this kind of like more brown color, kind of, yeah, I guess it's like a brown at the bottom. So that's what they look like. It was very difficult trying to find two that were like really close. They were all so different, but I kind of like how one of them is a little bit deeper and then one of them is a little bit more like the color of the chair. So those are my two little chairs. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna rearrange this yet. I'm gonna have to work with it and see what I've got going on. But yeah, those are my little chairs. I just love them so much. They are so cute. And I can't wait to vacuum in here and get it all sorted out. Such good scores, 79 bucks. You cannot beat it. Okay, so the next pieces are all kind of decor. So the very first things are these little just stems. They're obviously fake. Um, I believe these were like $4.99 or $5.99. They're not very expensive. So I went to Michael's to actually get like the exact same things and they were like 13, I think they were 13 or $14. And at Ikea, they're half the price. So I got three of these. So I'm gonna be putting them into a big vase. So obviously there's stuff in it right now, but this is just a nice big clear vase. And I thought it would be really cute to just stick those, oh for goodness, I've got like all of this stuff in here. It was like pouring down with rain coming out of Ikea. But basically these are gonna go in here like, whoops, like this you know, obviously all like normal. They're all bent in a funny way now because they've been in the car. But you guys get the idea. They'll be in here like this, but better. I, I think I need to bend them, but you know, that looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Well, anyway, you guys know what I'm trying to do. It'll be cute, I promise. So I got that and the vase, I think was like 12 or something like that. So next I got these little gold pots and they're very simple. I think these were like, $2, they were super affordable. And then they had these little fake little succulent plants, which I'm actually very good with succulents. I can keep them alive. But I just thought that this was so darn cute to just have um, for like the tops of dressers or like little side tables. It's just so cute. So like, look how adorable that is. Got three of the little plants. And then I just got one empty one. I think my friend, I've been decorating the guest bedroom for her. Um, and so I thought this would be really cute to like put some like little makeup brushes or just to like decorate the vanity. So that one's just an em empty one. Then I have some uh, candle, like big huge gold candle stick holder thingies on the uh, mantle. And so I just wanted some like plain little glass. I don't like it when it's just the regular candle bare because if I do actually want to light it, then I feel like it drips everywhere and it's such a mess. So I just got these little plain ones. These are just vanilla. They smell so, so good. They just look like this. They're just like a plain little glass 
vanilla candles. So I got three of those. And then these, and I think these were only $1.99. Um, and then these were only, I think, $1.99 as well. They're just really cute. I thought this would be cute to like decorate the vanity or somewhere in the bathroom. I just got them because they were two bucks. Then I thought this would, would be so adorable for a vanity. So it's this little set of um, like little bowls. And they are, I think these were like $12.99 or something like that for the entire set. So it's like this main one right here, which looks like this. Really cute. They're like little woven baskets. And then inside, it's like those little Russian dolls. You get all these little baskets. So you get this sized one that also has the little lid. Oh, they're all like attached. Where's your scissors when you need them? And then you also get the little tiny one as well. So they're like, they're a little set of three. And I just thought that these would be so cute to keep in the bathroom or on a vanity to um, store like cotton balls, makeup, whatever. So I got two sets of those because I wanted one for myself and then I wanted one for the guest bedroom um, for her little vanity. I just think they're absolutely adorable and I just love the like texture and the little woven. It just looks so cute. Boho decor is so trendy right now with all the green, like all the plants and all of the, um, like the wood and the woven and the wicker. It's just like so, so in and it's all over Instagram. So I'm really excited to see that Ikea is like offering the, these type of pieces to their customers and their prices are so, so affordable. It's very world market vibes. Like all the stuff I got is such world market vibes and you guys know I love world market, but sometimes their home decor and their furniture pieces can get a little bit pricey, especially if you're gonna be getting a lot of stuff. And so for me, these are very, very world market style, but at a fraction of the price. Oh my gosh, you guys, check out this basket. This is the Snydad, Snydad, I don't know how you say it properly, um, but these were I think $27.99 and I got two of them. I just think they are so cute for um, putting like pillows, blankets, just anything. You could use it for laundry if you wanted to. They have the cute little handles here, which is really cute for like holding if you are gonna use it as a laundry basket. And then that is what the bottom looks like. But isn't that the cutest little basket? These are so on trend right now and they're so, oh, they're just exactly what I was looking for. That is everything that I found at Ikea. I'm so happy. Also, I wasn't aware, but Ikea has a ton of real plants and their prices are amazing. You can get the most adorable, like actual trees for like $14.99, $24.99. They have a ton of different pots. So if you're looking to add some greenery to your space, they have a ton of fake plants, but they also have a ton of really nice, very good quality plants that are really, really affordable. So I would highly recommend if you are wanting to add that kind of stuff to your home or even your patio, whatever it is, definitely check it out because their prices are amazing and the stuff that they had are adorable. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up some like actual plants very soon we didn't have enough space to pick it all up today but um i think i will definitely do a haul when i do get more plants i'm really happy with the pieces that i got i hope that you guys enjoyed this haul and found it helpful leave a comment down below which was your favorite piece that i got from this haul if you guys haven't checked out ikea run to your local ikea you guys the thing about ikea is that you have to really take your time you have to go and look in each specific little room that they have set up and then when you go down to the marketplace take time it's very difficult to go with kids so i went with jay without the kids while they were in school i just feel like it's much better to like really take your time in there make a day of it like ikea is not one of those stores that you can just quickly run into like you have to like really have a good amount of time so we were in there for like hours and then when you get <coughs> when you get into that marketplace Look at every little thing because you never know what you're gonna be missing out on. Like these, I was not planning. I didn't see these anywhere. But then when I was looking in the like, bow succ succulent stuff, then I spotted it. So it's really good to like take your time, really dig in there, really have a good look around every little crevice of the store because that's when you find all of the magical things. Also, what I like to do is as I'm going around the top like floor, like as the showcase area, I take pictures of not only the tags, but like of the stuff that I like. And then also just kind of like taking pictures of the room so like you have an idea of like, maybe when you come back, like maybe if you can't get it now, but just have an idea of like how they set it up and like what kind of rooms you like. And then of course the pieces that you like so that you can go back as you go through the sh showcase area. 
you can go back and reference like there was a few different chairs that I had my eye on but I took pictures of all of them so that I could go and back go back and see like oh actually I think I like that one better like as you're going through and you see another one you might find another one that you're like oh I like this one more but then you go back and look at the old picture of the one you took on the other section then you're like actually I like that one more but you guys I am so excited to decorate with these items I think they're so cute and there was honestly so much more as well they have amazing rugs there right now really great prices but like I said I will link all the stuff that I showed you here in this haul um, down below for you guys and then I will also link a few of the items that I had my eye on that I was very interested in but I just didn't end up picking I'll link those down below and I'll just put like things that I want but didn't get or something like that so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to this channel I love you guys if you're new to my channel I've been noticing I've been getting um, some comments saying I'm new to this channel or new subscriber. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it I hope you stick around. I hope you enjoy my content to all the people who have been following me for a long time I love you guys. You guys know I appreciate you guys so very much <coughs> Oh my gosh, this cough is so annoying. It's just like a little <coughs> and it sounds like you're faking But it's just like this little <coughs> see a little dry tickle cough that comes up. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go now. Thank you guys. I love you Mwah. Bye